Call it like I don't see it. What up, peoples? Yes, Naked Luck Part 2 is late. Over the Thanksgiving holidays, we was busy, and we just couldn't get to it. But now, have no fear. Here it is. So, on to Naked Luck, Naked Luck Part 2. <laughs> okay, don't get me wrong, but I would buy a few of those songs separately. Mm -hmm. Like, a, like at least three, you know, three tracks, like a dollar mm -hmm. something each just to listen to as far as you know if you want some peace of mind and yeah. relaxation yeah yeah because some of those songs some of those songs are like 10 minutes long on this thing and i'm like right. okay okay yeah i can dig it you know, you know what good shower music a <laughs> lot of people at massage parlors will buy his music hell yeah yeah hell yeah yeah mm -hmm. that's for probably sure. where he's going with this yep let's do specials right now because of rj 2000 yep mm-hmm all right. Well, uh, All thank right. you, Andre, for dropping that. And we do hope at least to hear at least a few more lyrics from you before you, you know, yeah. hang it all up completely. Mm -hmm. uh, next quick bit. Moving next on. Bit. Yes, yes. John Wick. Uh, there's a new John Wick anime that's uh, an anime series that was announced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The John uh, Wick anime series. What do you think about that? Oh, uh, do we need it? No. I do don't, don't it? know, but <laughs> it could add to the <laughs> intensity of John Wick. Yeah. You know? You know, anime has their intense way of showing things and displaying death. <laughs> so, right. And look, I think it would help it. Sure, why not? As long as they don't make a please, I hope they just don't make that movie. That five, number five, please. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't. No, need no, that. no, we don't need. But the anime that. series, sure, why not? Anything, sure. everything seems like it's better in anime. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Let's get that going. Yeah. Um. All right. Next quick bit, GP. Next quick bit. Uh. Uh. Pedro Pastel is uh, Pedro. <laughs> Pedro Pascal. Pascal. Is reportedly to play Mr. Fantastic in the Fantastic Four. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's a good casting. I don't know. I did. I cannot see him as a Mr. Fantastic. I honestly don't see him as a Mr. Fantastic. I mean, I know he's been fantastic, pun intended, in the other uh, things, properties that he's been involved. Yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. I as see him as Mr. A, fantastic. I don't it's know. the thing, Ben Grimm. You're telling me I have to stretch right now. Yeah, <laughs> you got, you, you got yes, to stretch. Yes, 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 and action. Gonna, I'm gonna stretch. All right. I'm gonna stretch. All right, team. And now that I stretch, stretch. Out mm -hmm. and uh, stop. And when everyone here knows that I am about to stretch, okay? All right. This is the way. You wrong freaking <laughs> show, bro. <laughs> this is fantastic. Wrong Disney property. <laughs> Come on. And also, um, Stephen Yin is set to play Sentry in the Thunderbolts. Oh, Thunderbolts. So that Thunderbolts yeah. is official then. It's official. All right. This will be the uh, second character Steven Yen is playing that's going to be yellow and blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> right, because he's already um, invincible, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what would be great if I said that and then like the theme song popped in with the, the, the logo? <laughs> right, yeah, just boom. Because isn't he already playing? Boom! boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, that shit happens in real life, too? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. Since so, so he could be playing Sentry, he got to have that, that blonde hair. You gotta yeah, go that's all gonna look kind of weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless they, you know, woke it up <laughs> and changed it up. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, yeah. Everything's woke these nowadays. You can't just hope for the <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Can't just hope for source material. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no. What if he's Asian, <laughs> but he's part of the LBGQ community? Okay. Let's do all it. Right, Let's do it. Put it in. Put it in there. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Put it in. Anyway. Hey, he's partly Puerto Rican, too. Yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's do that, too. Add that in. Let's let's add that in there. Throw it in the pot. Let's add <laughs> that in. in. the woke pot. Yeah. You got a woke pot. Everything's good. And started. he's homeless. Add that in. Dude. Wow. <laughs> now we got wow. something. Oh, we got something now. That is new. <laughs> yes. That is what we need. Never happened before. To address the homeless population in America. Yes. Yes. That is, that is what we Thank you. Mm -hmm. You are woken yourself, sir. Because <laughs> I woken Jeez. up. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> no pillows for that guy. He's already no. awake. Exactly. He's already awake. Yeah. Next quick bit. We got uh, the Garfield trailer that dropped this week. Mm -hmm. um, voiced by Chris Pratt. Mr. Yeah. Garfield is, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about that trailer, dude? Um, I will. 
I used to watch Garfield and Friends uh-huh. when I was a kid, but um, Chris Pratt is taking all the voice acting from people, man. Like, yeah, for roles that really don't feel like he should be taken, you know, right, like yeah. was he Mario the other day? He was Mario one right? minute, now he Garfield. The hell? Yeah, yeah, Garfield the next. Take the that hell, out, man. Come you know on, who man. was Bill Garfield? Murray. Bill Murray was Bill Garfield Murray. last, right? Yeah, he saw it. And then like Bill. <laughs> no, Garfield uh, had a super lazy voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chris Pratt sounds too proactive to be freaking Garfield. I'm gonna sit here and Come eat on. some lasagna. Yeah. Come on, man. And then the next thing for me is like, did we? Did you actually need a Garfield movie? Like, no. Like They're just pulling from all properties. Doesn't matter. Don't don't need it. Don't need it. This, is this? I was like, what? I wasn't even laughing at the trailer. I was just like, all right. Whatever. Yeah. Just to introduce this new generation to Garfield, but that's not really Garfield, bro. That's, right. Yeah. That's Chris Pratt. That's Prattfield. <laughs> that's Prattfield. Prattfield, right there. Yeah. Prattfield. <laughs> that shit ain't nothing like. You don't even eat lasagna. He eats freaking tres leches. Like, what the hell? He likes tres leches? <laughs> what kind of cat? That's not Garfield. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is this is too real. This is too different for me now. Okay. Can I keep up? Next oh, good man. bit, we got um, Xbox yes. oh. coming out with an edible controller. <laughs> That's right, folks. You can eat your controller from Xbox. It's gonna be made out of chocolate. <coughs> <laughs> we both died on this episode. Yes, we did. It's to promote the uh, Willy Wonka movie that's coming out. I think it's this December. That movie is dropping. Xbox need a hit. Yeah, they, they definitely need it. They definitely need, they need it. That so it's, they're, it's, they're doing their own like Willy Wonka version. It's like a winning sweepstakes. Whoever gets the golden ticket or something like that. Yeah, they get a edible controller. Oh wow! That, and uh, also an Xbox uh, One. Oh wow! Oh. Anything to sell that damn freaking system. <laughs> do you want it? No, I, I just like the chocolate. But do you want the system? Yeah. No. You want to play? Don't you want to play it? No. No, I'm still playing spot. I like chocolate. <laughs> I'm only here for the chocolate. I was only here to win the chocolate control. That's about it, really. Are you really gonna eat it? No, I'm. I'm just gonna put it up on display. Yeah. I'm going to sell this show he made yeah. tomorrow. No, <laughs> like, I'm not playing this lame-ass system, y'all. <laughs> Xbox? What the hell is For that? what? <laughs> your whole street, your whole line should be nothing but chocolate. Man. Xbox should be nothing but chocolate now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even worry about selling games. Don't feed games. the world. Don't give the world games. Just feed the world with chocolate. Just just give the world chocolate. Go, yeah. go become the new Willy Wonka factory. Exactly. <laughs> You're dead sure you suck at selling video games, bro. Micro chocolate. <laughs> My, micro chocolate. <laughs> and then a box. That's all. <laughs> put all this. Put all this. Selling chocolate boxes. <laughs> Take all your systems and turn them into chocolate boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Just take out the innards and put chocolate in it. <laughs> and people will be happy with that. That would be good for while they play their PS5. Nintendo and PlayStation. Oh my god. It will be happy with the Nintendo or the PS5. Turn your shit into a chocolate box. Put a bow on it too. Put a, put a nice big X on it as a bow. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, you laughing. This is a solid ass good idea. Oh, <laughs> you want to sell or not? Oh, <laughs> you want to save the company? <laughs> <laughs> this is our best bet. This is our best bet. This is it's all we got. Idea. This is all on the line right now for Xbox. Man. I don't even know Ooh. what the hell game they got right now. That's oh, hot. My like, God. It doesn't make any sense. Dude, there's nothing up. <laughs> Nothing. What exclusive oh, Xbox man. got right now? That's 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 <sighs> pop it off. Let's turn that shit into chocolate. <laughs> you can give it to Girl Scouts and shit. We sell like Xbox cookies. <laughs> Oh, it comes in this Xbox box, like we just, you know, put We got Gears of box. War flavor. <laughs> <laughs> all exclusives. All exclusives got flavors. 
<laughs> Halo, Halo chocolate. <laughs> Halo nut. <laughs> Halo bun buns. <laughs> Hello, bomb bombs. <laughs> Hello, macadamia nut. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wrapped in a box right in time for the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Xbox. Oh, my God. This is exactly what I wanted. Some chocolate. Ooh. Moving on. Next <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yes. Um, the Last of Us Part 2 is being remastered now and will release on January 19th. A remastered version. Part two, and it just came out what three years ago? Yeah, I feel like this was a little early for a remaster, dog. Like, yeah, that game still hit hard. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're throwing in a, the one thing I found interesting was this rogue mode that they got thrown in there. Mm-hmm. Like a survivor mode thing. I don't know yeah. that co-op or something that they throw yeah. in there. That might be that might be dope. Well, it's ten dollars for people that already had. Thank God. It on PS4, so. I would have been super pissed if that shit was like seventy dollars. Like, oh dude, yeah, are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, I just played. I just <laughs> literally played this game two years ago, bro. <laughs> literally just played this game. Right. The hell are you talking about remaster? No, Man. this is a revisit. Yeah, man. exactly. <laughs> revisit. <laughs> revisit. It's like, and I was laughing because it was like showing, trying to show like the enhanced graphics. I'm like, the PS4 graphics were not that far off. From right. PS5. Exactly. What Come is on. wrong with y'all? Yeah, man. <laughs> what is wrong? Yeah. But ten dollars, I'll see. I'll see. I'll wait to see if it's worth, ju- you know, scaring yeah. my ass off again in that in that yeah. world. Yeah. Oh man! And mm. the last quick we got last quick going. bit is uh, Snoop Dogg announced that he's quitting smoking. Snoop Dogg. Yes. Please respect Did his, he? you know, privacy. His privacy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we we won't speculate too long on if this is legit or not, but. Right. I mean, didn't he try to do this before, or am I, I wrong? If I felt like he did. I felt like he had at one point tried to quit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we'll and see this one if it lasts long. His Instagram picture makes it seem like kind of like a, <laughs> like a like a death in the family or something like that, which is mm. weird. Yeah. Well, you know, weed has been a part of his family for a long time, bro. Oh, no, that's weed true. That's true. It's like that's like yeah. a brother to him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> weed is like a brother to Snoop Dogg. Yeah. <laughs> they, they go everywhere together. <laughs> you can't say weed without saying Snoop. There's like a, a twin or some shit. That's true. Yeah, conjoined twins. That's like his. He loses his identity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now what is he gonna be? Dog. Yeah. yeah. He's just gonna be known as Dog, not, yeah. not Snoop anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it for Quick Bits. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. We're into anime, anime, crazy maid. Uh-huh. Huh. Yes. Whew. Nah, huh? with with uh, oh. tackle type, <laughs> tackle type, uh, a tackle type. Ta- yeah, I want to say jujitsu, but a tackle type. No, don't. Yeah. I don't. Uh, shut. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Let's start where it's easier to go with. Yes. Let's start with the easier one. Attack on Titan. Right. They mm-hmm. finally finished. Finally finished the final final of the, the final final of the finals of the finals. Yes, finally. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think, man? Well, how do you think about um, this? Honestly, I'm being honest right now. Um, I think they sh- could have in it. This could have connected to, this, the, to the last final. Or the final final before the final final. <laughs> oh, they should have. All, all, exactly. They lost me. Because <laughs> this all, all of this should have just been connected to the last part two, at least. Oh, you mean it didn't have to go into this like part three? Nah, they could have just put it out. Yeah, yeah, they, I, I, I hear that. I hear I, that. I feel like the only good thing that, about this that I liked was the Night Titans. Mm, yeah, those were dope. Those that whole scene was dope. Yeah, that was dope. The whole battle on his back was crazy. Yeah, but it kind of felt like they kept going and doing the same thing over and over again, though. Right. Like, yeah. we keep charging, but they keep, you know, finding a new way around our defenses or, right. or our attack. And this seems pointless. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This right. guy can fly. All right. Yeah. yeah. They're back again, though. They're hitting us with something else. Look, <laughs> like, she she could keep turning to the hunted titans. Oh, 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 right. oh, oh, Yeah, yeah. It just kept going back and forth in the battle. But mm-hmm. it was, I mean, I'm just glad it's over. I'm glad it's over, too. <laughs> They did put in like top. I mean, shout out to Mappa. They did put in some top animation for this to yeah. you know portray 
especially yeah. for Levi and how he just came out and just beheaded. I mean, spoiler alert. Yeah. Uh, how he beheaded uh, Zeke, right? Finally. But see, that was <laughs> that was because Zeke wanted that to happen. He wanted to die, yeah, but he but knew he was gonna die. This this how I feel about like I feel about the I, I it put a damper on the whole series for me. Yeah. In a way, I feel like the question after this was, what was this all for? You know what? I can feel you on that one. Yeah. Because, and once again, we said spoiler alert. Right? Spoiler so, alert, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, because yeah. at the end, once the, once the credits rolled, right? Yeah. And you saw as the years passed Going by. by. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, you know, you see different wars and stuff. Going Same on. thing. Yeah. Same thing. It's kind of like history repeating itself. So right. like, what the hell was this all for? Because then you see this tree at the end, the right. same kind of tree that started this whole crap. Mm-hmm. And, you know, a boy walking into it, supposedly one of Maka's, uh, Mikasa's um, uh, offspring. S- offspring. Yeah. Right. And we was about to do like Attack on Titan 2. All over again. <laughs> like, Here right we go. Here. You know? Yeah. So I, I I hear you on that one. Like it yeah. seemed kind of like pointless. Like what was this all for? Yeah, it was pointless. And then also pointless was Aaron's uh, motive for his mm. for for the for his friends. Like mm. you doing all this just for so they can be basically back to normal humans. Yeah, and also they could be um, heroes. At the same time, the I kind of I'll be on the I'll be on the flip side of that because I was I kind of appreciated that fact. Like for me, it felt like okay, he wasn't just a stone cold like he didn't just flip to turn into a killer, right? Right? Like he was looking out for his friends. He who from day those who were his day ones. Like he wanted peace for them, but he realized he had to be this sacrificial lamb, right? By it's killing like most of humanity, eighty percent. <laughs> You had to do you, you had to do all of that for eighty percent. Do the voice by eighty percent. All right, you yeah. better. <laughs> Listen, everybody. I, I, Aaron Yeager <laughs> killed at least about eighty percent of. At eighty percent, all humans died because of Aaron Yeager. He he became a, the ultimate titan. Oh, yeah, all the other titans. <laughs> all the titans. Stop on Squish everybody all the world. Squish everybody all the world. Okay. Eighty percent. Eighty percent. And ninety percent he didn't get that because they say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's a lot for friendship, my dude. Like, yes, you, man. You, yeah, you like, yeah. Over, that's over too half much. The human population. Come on, man. Save a handful of people. Yeah, and and that's the, crazy. And I and this affects me with like the real world because it's like hatred will never stop. Go away. No, it this won't. just this just made me really believe that hatred, no matter what it is, creed, color, religion, don't matter. Doesn't matter. It will always consistently. Go, go. Why? It is so silly. It makes no sense. But this anime made it made sense for me to realize and that it would never th- stop. Yeah, but that's the beauty of the storytelling, though. That's yeah. the beauty of the storytelling because even yeah. in the moment when you know things were seemingly solved, right? Right. Dudes pull out guns and shit. Right? Man, <laughs> right? like yeah. shoot another one. Like, how do we know you gotta get a transform again? Exactly. Are you like, serious? We just <laughs> same. This crap. You already pulled out your gat. Maybe like, because we can't turn into titans. Uh. Duh. Like Come I bit on. my freaking thumb. What else do you need to know? I can't do it Man. anymore. That's what. Ah, like, like, like that just made me. <laughs> even though it felt it, it felt so real, but at the same time, uh-huh. it made me just mad because of it feels so real. Like that's. Right. That's just the but world. I feel, I feel because of that, because it brought that emotion out of you and many people who watch this anime and stuff too, right? Right. That's what was the beauty of this story. Right. You know, it was this story. Like, so it it, it may seem like it's pointless, but it's a, there's a point there. Yeah, yeah. And it's reflection of humanity. Right. Right. Like, mm-hmm. it's going to still happen no matter what. History yeah. repeats itself no matter what because we're humans. That's it. Right. Th- and that's it, just the cold hard truth and, and like this whole series is just a depressed <laughs> it's just a sad oh when you think sad. about it it's just a sad story it's, man it is sad Especially good since, like, but Mikasa, sad story it's so sad because Mikasa like she liked Eren you know right. she yeah. was it devoted him. to him or whatever right. yeah. she had to be the one to behead him and she's kissing like this beheaded head <sighs> oh, she's yeah. twisted yeah 
There's no tongue action there, of course. He, he can't move his tongue. So <laughs> what was that for? You're right. But it, it was it was so, I mean, tear-jerking at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like, Damn, bro. That, yeah. From the jump, these were they, they went through so much together. Mm-hmm. And for him to have that weight on his shoulders to be relieved from her, I felt like that was beautiful. Like, right. She, she was like, put him, she put him to rest. Like, mm-hmm. come on. And that's what we, we talked about the first... Oh, no, no, was it? No, the second part. The second, part. <laughs> the second, <laughs> the second finale. You're right, yeah. And he was like, if you want to stop me, come stop me, right? right. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think we, we talked on the fact like he wants to be stopped. Right. Like he wanted to be killed. Right. And it made sense, you know? Like, but it but was, then even like... It was because of... Uh, what's her name? The first one. The very first. Right. The she email. She kept... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she kept going with it. So he couldn't stop. And it was this constant theme of love, too. Like, she yeah. loved that whatever jerk exactly. dude, right? And King, it, yeah. Yeah. So this whole, like, like love and hate is a constant theme. Exactly. That's always going to keep going, no matter And it's what. a thin line between No it. matter what. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's a thin line between love and hate. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I just found it weird, too, like, how much, what's his name, Otterman accepted that, too. Right. And she wanted to share the responsibility of the being, you know, being responsible for the eighty percent of the population getting destroyed. Right. And I was like, Armin, where, where, where are you at in this, dude? Come on, man. Yeah. Where are you at? Where, where's your morals? Right. Eighty percent of the population, my guy. Man. Eighty <laughs> percent. Jeez. For eighteen people. <laughs> we talking about like, like, like different age groups. Like it's just. Kids to teens to adults to older <laughs> people like you just wipe them out. Let's wipe them out. <laughs> but hey, the generation populated itself again. Yeah, you know I mean, and they still were able to wage it, war again. Exactly, like it was each other. for nothing. Like, the, nah, man. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. It was crazy. The part that got me sad though, because of just because of the connections with these characters, was when that, when they turned into titans. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit, dog. That's how they going out. Hey, yeah. So for that moment, I felt like, damn, dog, that hurt. But then when they, you know, but then changed back. When they changed back, I was like, okay, that felt great. <laughs> you yeah. know, like I can see his sacrifice. I, I I understand his sacrifice for that, mm-hmm. and all his tears. Like I remember he was crying in the second part where he was crying to that one kid. Like I'm so sorry. Like this has to happen. Yeah, you know, my, because my. he's seen things that were things that was, and some things. <laughs> That have not yet come to pass. <laughs> and I don't know what's here and not now. <laughs> I'm all over the, the place. Cu- that's the curse uh, of my being memories are omnipresent and I don't know what's going Everything on. Everything is happening, happening at the same once. time. <laughs> I'm oh six here God. and I'm eighty five here. Wow. Oh. It's, it's crazy. It's, but um it's... my my um heartfelt moment was all the past characters who died showed yeah. up in the mist and was was to was Levi, happy yeah. right yeah yeah that yeah. that was that was great yeah that mm-hmm. was great yes yeah. still so much death in that series man so, so much great. man yeah i'm at peace with it being over me like, too man like i that's one anime where i don't want it to to revamp i don't want anything no, just keep it as it is no i don't want to take a trip back to memory lane no i don't want to watch it again shit, like yeah fuck a baruto no it's like what the hell is that <laughs> new crap? generation aaron yeager no 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 no, no, no leave no. it where it's at it yeah. ended perfectly don't mess this up Please yes don't mess this up yes 20 years from now we don't need to see some new manga artist creating a whole please spin-off. don't please don't leave it alone please don't. i'm gonna leave it at a 10 though um for me it was a climax the animation was glorious mm-hmm. the acting i'm gonna the the, the 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 characters and their feelings it moved me mm-hmm. right and then that you know the, the finale and everything at the end i was like you know what this is a perfectly wrapped up story Okay. I gave it a 10. Just for how they wrapped it all up. For the final chapter that separate from the series, mm-hmm. the final chapter, I'm going to give it an 8. Mm-hmm. Because of the stuff I mentioned. Right. Yeah. But yeah. overall, as a series. Overall, you- as a series, I give it a... I give it a 9 as far as... Because it, it makes you think. It makes you, It's a heartbreaking tale, but it mm-hmm. makes you think. It does. Yeah. 
And I don't ever want you to turn into a Titan, GP. Me don't neither. I don't want stomp you. On me. I don't want you to turn into one either. I swear to God, if you stop on me, GP, <laughs> and take and take over 85, 80 percent, and, and I survive, and I survive like Mister Salak, I'm coming after you. Be like, this. dude, I, I I kept you alive so you could be a hero. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> you stepped on me. <laughs> Look at my legs. Paraplegic <laughs> hero. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to talk to the nations? <laughs> talk to the nations. They won't listen to me. They think I'm a villain. <laughs> I would love to be doing this standing up. You broke my bottom half of my body. You bastard. At forty. Damn. At forty percent. Haven't got killed? Don't give me no damn percentages. <laughs> I want my legs back. <laughs> thank you, Attack on Titan. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Damn. Such a great freaking anime. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Yes. Now on the to the other good stuff. On to the good stuff. The one that is hard to put into words. Whew. Man. Well, we will try our very best here, anime fans. Yes. Because we will catch you, you up. I, I feel like we are all on the same page here. Yes. And we... With uh, Jujutsu, uh, like, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yes. Last thing we were talking about was after the... the What's the last arc? Um, uh, oh, the arc with him and... Uh, permanent death or... Yeah, the hidden inventory. Hit, yeah, hidden inventory. inventory slash permanent yeah. death. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what we left off at. Yeah. We stopped that, yeah. And that in itself was top God tier anime. Of course. Right? Yeah, yeah, of course. What is happening here in these last seven episodes? Man are beyond the words of man. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's be, that intense. Beyond compare. <laughs> it's beyond comprehension. The the level of... Um, I'll start with just the animation. Let's start Yes, with start with the animation. The level of the animation that MAPPA has put out with Jujutsu Kaisen this mm-hmm. season yeah. has been astronomically phenomenal. Yes. Right? And it's making me use words like that right now. I, mm. I don't use that to, normally in my to. vocabulary, but I'm looking for a new dictionary right That's now. That's the only I'm way to set the tone. <laughs> I'm trying to find the right words to say. Astronomically phenomenal. Only way to set the tone. That's the only words to use. Yes. That is constantly leaving us flabbergasted every freaking week. Yes. Like, I, I've struggled, and, my, and shout out to Acoustics. We've been in this struggle too. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Ace. Yes. And trying to put into words what is going on in this anime every mm-hmm. week. Like, why is it such god tier level across the board? Yes. Like, I'm still trying to break down Toji. <laughs> and, like, and, and that whole Toji. The whole just the story, man. This Shibuya arc, the <sighs> incident, like, like this incident span into eight different subplots that's Yo. all on par with the main story story like it's, it's insane that's incredible the next thing i want to touch on with jujutsu yes every episode in the last seven eight weeks yes each episode is like another anime's final episode right yes yes right yeah. <laughs> like exactly. That's how crazy it is. Exactly. It's like every, every one of those episodes. <laughs> we had seven could... season finales. <laughs> seven, pretty much. We've been watching season finale after season finale every freaking week, dog. Oh, I have God. never seen, we have never seen no. an anime of this tier being constantly put out every week. I am still trying to like, and you know, for me, I, I don't know, like there's anime viewers out there. I'm pretty sure you the same way, GP. You, yeah. you have to rewatch your anime you, sometimes. You right? have to watch these you, episodes multiple more, times. At least four times, right? Yes. I am still doing that with, with, with the freaking, which episode was it? Go, oh, I'm still doing God. that with Gojo. Yes. Gojo versus uh, Toji. Uh, and Gojo is just, he, uh, he using That's his, a whole different art. He's ex- I, I Exerting his 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 limitless powers in this arc, <sighs> I and then and then I'm still breaking down. I think I'm watching this about probably my, my seventh time now. Um, when they when they sealed Gojo, right? Yes, yes. That episode, the way he killed Hanami, <sighs> and just the just unleashing of his of aura. Space. I think, ah, man. what the frick is this? All he dog? had to do was walk up against him. 
and increase <laughs> and just increase his aura. His, his aura potential. killed her. Man. And then on top of that, Man. I'm gonna be bouncing around here. Okay. I'm still trying to comprehend how Toji pops out. In the middle oh, of that ocean. Oh man! And it's and and completely like obliterates expectations. Just and just strength. shreds this freaking this the freaking Mister Crabs. <laughs> like, just still <laughs> kicks his ass. This, but this, the, oh my god! You see, see what's happening? Like we struggling yeah, for words. We're struggling, man. We're because, struggling for words. Like and then, and then we talking all we we're not talking in sync with the story because no. there's, there's so much stuff to talk about. There's so much content to put into words and to grasp as to what they're doing. And I've already committed this to myself. Like next summer, I'm going to do a study, an anime study on season two of this series. Yeah, so, you have to. Like, I have to break it down. I have to have a journal and write down my thoughts. This is and break down scenes and what they mean. This is one of the best arcs in anime history, right here. In anime history, I'm glad anime you said that. Anime history. Look, look, I'm gonna drop this statement on you. I need you to think about this right now, G. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And I said this to my bro the other day, and I'm gonna yeah. drop it on you. Okay. I feel like this anime in Jujutsu Kaisen is the end game of anime across the board. Like, this is the end game. <laughs> think about it for a second there, folks. What in the hell do you think is going to come and top Jujutsu and what they're doing? Man. Think about this as a, as a, as a drug addict, right? You get mm -hmm. meth. Meth is one of the strongest <laughs> drugs ever known to man. You can't even take a small dose and, and you're addicted, right? Mm -hmm. Jujutsu is now meth. You can't go down to some low-level drug and be like, oh, yeah, this is giving me the same kind of high. No, it ain't going to be the same. And no disrespect to any other anime that's been that's been fired, like Hell's Paradise or Chainsaw mm -hmm. Man. Everything, which, yeah. Which at the time, these animes were like freaking god tier level. Yeah. What, Juju, what, what Jujutsu has done in such a short period of time and with this season, it's mm -hmm. like, dog... I can't go to anything less. I will still enjoy those other animes, but mm -hmm. I don't feel like in my lifetime something's gonna top what Jujutsu is doing. I don't feel like it's possible. When when you when you care about this this arc made me care about a character that only been on for that, that episode, and that's really it. Like keep your point. When Yuji and what's his name, um, Migi, mm -hmm. when they tag team to fight that uh, older sorcerer. That was a part mm -hmm. of that 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 clan, right? To stop Gojo from being right. unsealed. Mm -hmm. That episode, like his backstory, like they made you care about a clan that's haven't been shown yet, right? In this in history of jujitsu, and his shit was fired. You talking it about was, the frame rate, dude? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, my dude. That's like that so that episode. <laughs> was so crazy because like the, they, they tell you the history of this clan and why they won't stop Gojo and then also why they came to the incident to stop the jiu-jitsu To sorcerers. piggyback off of that, I love the narrator in the background because yeah. it, it, it's kind of like they pulled from Hunter x Hunter. Remember right. Hunter, Hunter x Hunter used to have that narrator, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. When shit got heavy in the, yeah. in the Chimera arc, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So and it, it just adds this element of okay, it's making sense as to why these things are happening, but it's at such an extremity. It's like, damn, bro. Mm -hmm. You can't be confused. You can't be confused. You, you, you can't. On. But your brain is trying to comprehend like God level things. Like you mm -hmm. know, you, you know, you can't put God into words. Like you can't really comprehend how nah, he works. Nah, nah. I, you can't really comprehend and put into words how this anime is doing what it's doing. Yes. In, in such a fashion, it's just, it's, a, it's, oh, there is no filler. When I mean no filler, this is what filler is with this show. Nothing. Ugh, nothing. No filler, man. No. I, I, uh, I'm going to jump into another episode that left my jaw on the floor for about a week and a half. Freaking when Sukuna, when they, oh they my just God. fed all oh these freaking fingers into this dude. Oh. And, my dude Jogo, shout out to him. I, I never cared about a villain and felt sorry for a villain than Jogo, dog. Yeah. This dude pulls his arm up and it's already sliced off. I was like, what the yeah. f? What the fuck? He lost it. 
And then he's there like, if you don't get, you have one second to get your hand off of me. I was like, oh, Sha- Shakuna, it got to be like, it's like, is this guy, I know he's, I know his, his essence is oh a cursed energy. Like, but I don't get how he can do that much damage. It's insane. It is insane. And he's so he's, ruthless. He's man. so freaking ruthless, bro. Dude, when he told, like, when he told, when he just popped in the middle of a of a fight, and he said, "If any of y'all move, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> nobody moves. Nobody moves an inch." And when that dude said, "Go," dead. when that dude said, "Go," <laughs> yo, you saw how fast everybody was. <laughs> everybody oh did so. <laughs> Man. Yo, they said, I'm out. I don't even care about the media. I don't care about you. I'm out of here, bro. I'm yeah. out of here. Like that is power. This, that is ruthless freaking power. Like this dude. I, I'm gonna jump back to that episode. Yeah, this yeah, dude yeah, said, yeah. You feel like you feel like you don't have to bow on both knees when you're looking at me, and he see like he's still cut off part of Jogo head. Right. And then chicks is like, you know, we'll hook you up with the finger if you just what. And yo, I was never so terrified in my life Ooh, when boy. that chick head blew off, bro. I said, what "This happened so and then she fast." Screamed. Yes, and then she started this like panic scream. I was like, "Yo, what is going on?" And then she gets diced to piece. I said, "God have mercy, this dude it's, is insane." It's like he don't care if you obey, bye bye. Uh, uh, intimidate. It don't Nothing. matter. It don't Nothing. care. And then now I'm gonna put, <laughs> go a little forward here. Mm-hmm. He seems to have some serious interest in Megumi. Oh right? yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. And then sidestep to Megumi. Wt motherfucking f. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, when like did you know how to pull that shit out Ooh. your ass? And, and he this was whole... and he was like about to be out of there. He was like. How you pull that off and you're critically injured? Injured. You about like, to pass out. What? And you still pull that out? It made me think back to when they said, you know, you could be one of the strongest sorcerers if you, you like I think it was back in season one when they first encountered uh yeah. Sakuna. And that's why and he, he had, that's why Sakuna wants him. And I said, what do you mean? What do you see? And then they do that flashback to 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 him and Gojo talking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what the frick? And then he pulls this freaking insane ass spirit out mm-hmm. I, I I don't know if I've ever seen like like, more like Sukuna intimidating how, spirit how much powerful you want to be and, and you want him for it dog like you you I don't know what his plan is dog I don't know what his plan is and then we're still trying to wrap our minds on what the hell is that brain shit's plan that's inside of ghetto <laughs> like, oh, what, what is your so, plan? so I was right about ghetto actually died in zero yeah, he was. He actually died, and then th- that's the thing. I still have to go back and now rewatch that movie because I'm still trying to. Grasp and I did. The whole <laughs> I rewatched that. <laughs> I rewatched that. I rewatched that when when during during he got getting sealed because uh-huh. you know on, on Crunchyroll it goes right back to that. Right back to it yeah. every time, every single every episode time. you watch. Yeah. And Crunchyroll keeps telling you like, you might need to go back and watch. Them. <laughs> you better go watch. He's telling you to go watch. Them. <laughs> telling you to go watch. They got some information in here. You need to watch every episode that drops. You might need to go back and watch this movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. It, this it keeps making you. It's like an encyclopedia. Yeah. It keeps making you want to go back and reread history. Like it feels like now this anime has awoken. Like it's 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 living organism, right? Top two. That now has just transcended what anime should be and it's a growing thing. Mm-hmm. So we have to keep up. We have to do research. We yeah. have to be prepared. Yeah. Like I has this is the first I kid you not, GP. This is the first anime I've hesitated to watch on a Thursday mm-hmm. because I'm not sure if I'm ready to comprehend it yet. Yeah. I I I, like, I, I love watching it on the weekends cuz like it's you got to worry about you know weekends is more downtime, right? Right. Right. And, and and I would prefer watching this on a weekend because mm. like I feel like on a weekday it, it feel like it'll it'll go in my brain and then leave out so fast because I gotta oh. worry about other stuff to worry about. But on a weekend, right I want that to settle. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I want that to settle. Simmer. Just simmer now. I don't weekend. even know if simmer in the room is the word. It's freaking boiling hot in my in my head <laughs> when, I, when I watch that shit, bro. Like I watched that latest episode at like eleven thirty that night. 
And just, I I could not sleep. I was man, like, bro, just, what the hell? You uh, massacred an entire district. And and oh. then you and then you let him have his body back to see the whole destruction. Destruction. Yeah. My my guy usually broke like that those tears were uh, I felt yeah, man. those tears. Yeah, man, me too. And then it made me realize what he said. And I didn't realize he was actually gonna do it. Mm-hmm. When he said, how about I kill everybody here in this district mm-hmm. except for one human? I didn't know he was talking about keeping Yushi a lot. Yeah, yeah. But that's what he went out and did, dog. Mm-hmm. A black hole in the midst of the city. Man. And I don't even, I'm still trying to wrap my head around his his power of this slicing, decapitating shit. Dude, that's, that's and it's so <sighs> fast, too. It's like he could be. It's too fast. He could be where you at and then slice me from where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, hello? Who's on this? <laughs> hello? <laughs> God damn. Why did you bow, GV? Why did you bow? <laughs> look, but I did. <laughs> I, 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 I was it, look, look, look. I had a I had a scratch on my back. And you don't care about you that. Bow, Slice. You bow fast enough, GP. Man. I heard he killed another dude over a misorder at McDonald's. Like he said, Man, I that, said a number that dude, three. That dude, that dude would kill you because you have your shoes untied for no reason. Right? Like, you feel like you you don't need to tie your shoes in my presence. Like, yeah. go, I'm I'm sorry. Ah, before I even can finish my sentence, the the <laughs> fact that the fact that I'm he sorry. used like he used Yuji's body to the point to where like um the the cursed spirit was lunging at him with a sword. And he he caught the sword by creating a mouth on Yuji's throat. It's, oh my god! To bite the sword and Bro, break so it. So many levels to explain stuff. Like I'm still trying to wrap my brain around the Bruce Lee nunchuck effect. Oh, told you, oh that my shit. god! So I was like, yo, even their callbacks or shout outs is dope as fuck, man. Like, it's oh. so crazy how amazingly good this anime is. It this, is goat level every week. This guy, <sighs> you saw why he was killing those rabbits? <sighs> I'm done with this podcast. <laughs> I'm stopping. Okay, so I'm ten, stop. Ten, let, look, let me look. tell you right now. No, now that you brought that up, I'm, yeah. still, <laughs> I'm still trying to wrap my head around that shit. How do you animate that how to are such you, perfection? More importantly, how are you that powerful where someone takes your takes your abilities or your body you your your body becomes you because he's so his body becomes him exactly because he's so strong physically like your your body is so intact with your mind that your body becomes you again man let me tell you folks if you Anime fans, you understand why we jumping around like this. We just can't put it all on paper. Like it's, it's so much. It's, it's just too much. too much, man. It is too much. It's bro. too much, man. I'll I'll shout out that one moment when he realized he was finding his son. I was like, that is such a beautiful moment. Though. Yeah, yeah. And then Sakuna pops out, and then he still, he, and then he kill himself. Like, ha, yeah, ha. that was that was Shush. great. Oh, and then like, like I said, shout out to Jogo. I felt so sorry for that dude. Like he was talking to Hanami and uh, the other crap dude. Right. And then a flashback with that freaking fire arrow. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, man. Uh, man. Like they didn't even show you how he died. That's how gangster this damn anime yeah, is. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It yeah. just, it's like, just know that his ass is lit on fire. <laughs> He's and lit. that's all you need to know. He's you lit. didn't need to see how that shit went down. No, nah. <laughs> you didn't need to see nah. how Sakuna did that. It took you into a whole time. fantasy. Yeah, <laughs> back to reality. He out. They oh, threw, they threw that shit in last minute. No, 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 no. Right. We saw how he does it. They don't. Yeah, see we that. figured that. Yeah, you talk they to his brothers. His that. brothers is gone. That you know what that means. <laughs> but they don't. just the fact that they pulled this off, this arc off, and Gojo is. On the on the on the seat, he's just chilling. He basically, he's chilling. Though. He's chilling. Like they they, they they didn't even properly seal that dude. Like I feel no. like he can still get out. Yeah, and he was sitting there like uh, <laughs> I I kind see. of felt like this was coming when they sealed Gojo, right? Yeah, because then it was like, all right, all hell about to break loose. Like all hands on deck. Let's see what everybody can do. Right. And that's literally what happened after Gojo got sealed. And I think that's what Gojo wanted. I, I he I think he wanted to see who's gonna free me. Right, 
And I feel like uh, you're right about that. I feel like he wanted Megumi to get pushed to that limit, right? Where he yeah. brings out this freaking crazy ass spirit. Yeah. You know, I, but I don't think he knew Sakuda was going to pop out of there. Like, no, nah, I don't think I don't he think was he thinking that all those all those fingers. No. Nah, that was that no. was a lot of fingers, <laughs> man. And then we still got to figure out who that home chick is that he was talking to, that he was hyped to see U- Urahime. Yeah, U- like U- Urahime. Right. He was really hyped to see Homegirl. Yeah. Like, uh. what up? Man? <laughs> what up? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my I'm going to tell you this right now. Sakuda, in my mind now, has transcended every thought of I had about a villain. And mm. I have this post up, this Jujutsu post up in my, in my man cave. And now I, I think I need to change it because I, I don't want Sakuda <laughs> on that shit. <laughs> like, he's too crazy. He's too crazy. <laughs> he is too crazy. I need just the heroes. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, man. <laughs> but <laughs> to put it into words, ten out of t- ten doesn't do this shit justice. I'm gonna nah, say fifty-five thousand. I think, 000 I think out we of 10. should say fifty-five thousand. Yeah, I think. That's I'm gonna just say infinity over ten. Infinity, what, limitless. Yeah, energy. Lim- yeah, let's go limitless. There we go. Let's limitless. go limitless. limitless. I think this is the I, only time yeah. we're gonna go limitless. Yeah, we gotta go. Ugh, I'm man. Th- Perfect, perfect dog. I, I, you, you, you're right there with me. This is a limitless rating right now. Limitless, yeah. And I agree. Uh, there's more to be spoken on, and when we, I feel like when we do comprehend everything, that we we could give a better, you know, review about yeah. it. Yeah, we got one more episode too, so I think the right. <sighs> yeah. No, we got a few. I think it's ending like in December, dog. Oh, okay. Before this arc is over. Oh. I can't handle anymore. <laughs> Honestly, I can't handle anymore. Yeah. Like Maybe. I really can't. You name in episodes like Thunderclap and Thunderclap Part Two. Oh, like oh, God, oh, I'm Man. done. I'm freaking done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, uh, but we are we we've reached like I said we've reached probably like the most highest bar ever of anime, and yes. I'm just glad we're able to witness this. Mm-hmm. Me too. Like if an asteroid came and hit Earth next year, I'd be like, look, at least we got to see that <laughs> level of anime yeah. exist. Yep. That shit was phenomenal. <laughs> oh man, let's man. call it. I don't want to because I still need help, but yeah. let's. We gotta go. Well, call yeah, we it then. Or oh, this whole episode is Jujutsu. In, indeed, yeah, we had to make this two parts. <laughs> Jujutsu part one. Yeah, <laughs> and that was that guy that was Jujutsu. <laughs> Uh, but we gotta put your face in this. Ah, yeah. Um, what you put your face in, dude, this week, man? Um, it's a that's an animated show, a adult animated show on HBO. Well, not HBO Max. Max, not my wife, but Max. Uh, it's called <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's called Scavengers Ring, and it's about uh-huh. a crew of a crew of a damaged ship. Uh huh. A deep space freighter. They are stranded on a beautiful and very dangerous planet. And it's crazy off the wall. This planet is full of creatures that does some weird and crazy things, but it's it's just look beautiful. Wow. Yeah. And it's about these these survivors that was on this ship that got destroyed and they got they crash landing on this planet and they don't know nothing about it and it just crazy things they that's happening to them they trying to survive okay it it's on max it's on max you said right yeah put it this way all right I'm, I'm gonna say this as an android that's that was an android and when he got on the planet the android is being sentient because of the fungus that's li- that's mm. growing inside of the android robot hmm. interesting that's all i'm saying about it Go ahead show, the line, bro. <laughs> put your face in this <laughs> Scavengers ring. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. Anything else you put your face in? That's all I got for this one. I. Mm-hmm. I'm recovering still from this Jujutsu talk. Oh man, it's, it's gonna be a lot of recovery. Uh, I'm, man. I've been putting my face in uh, Gen V or Generation mm-hmm. V, however you want to say it, that spinoff mm-hmm. from the boys. I gotta catch and up on that. My God, has it been? an amazing show Mm -hmm. and it's tying in it might be tying into the boys season four right that's good i i think they say it's supposed to be like like it takes place right after that ending of that one yeah 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 so put your face in gen v amazon prime amazon yeah Yeah. 
super bloody, but it's it's good. It's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also I put my face in um, life on our planet on Netflix. This mm-hmm. documentary talking about like how life was on Earth mm-hmm. billions and billions of years ago, okay. and just like the dawning of like the dinosaurs and the, tr- the the changes and the different times that the like I didn't even realize how many times there was a mass extinction on the planet. Yeah. Um, but it is a phenomenal documentary. I haven't watched a documentary in a long time. Mm-hmm. But I was trying to feel a little smart. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to smart, get smart. I yeah. want to learn something. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it's, you know, narrated by your guy, Morgan Freeman. Uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah. you can't go wrong there. 600 million years ago, a species emerged <laughs> that's, called that's the dinosaurs. How it <laughs> <laughs> and these dinosaurs. And these dinosaurs. The dinosaurs came around. <laughs> and uh, they roamed the earth 65 million was, years ago. If it puts a lot into perspective of our time here on this planet is really short. Yeah. Because these dynasties they call like he called it in the, in the series mm-hmm. like they lasted for like thousands of years whatever and then they were wiped away, right? Then a new dynasty rose up, right? Yeah. So every thousands of years there's a new dynasty that's been happening on the planet. So mm-hmm. I feel like when I watched it, I was like, "Well, humans. I mean, we just been around for what two thousand years, right? Uh, um, as we as we're dating, you know, dating time. Yeah. So we probably have maybe what like another two thousand years left or something before some other new species takes hold and merge. Yeah. But it it puts a perspective. Like, damn, you know, time is really short. Yeah. And just appreciate, just yeah. appreciate, and live as as best as you can. Appreciate life. <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> so put your face in life on Earth. Yeah. Life on the planet Earth. <coughs> okay. Netflix. Netflix. Whew, that was as best as I could get my, my high pitched voice. Back. <laughs> that shit was a struggle. All right. So let's right. slow things down real quick before we hit on out of here. Real down. Whew, I got to cold my brain now. Yeah. Get ready for some. Positive chakra, yeah. And I got the reins this week. Here we go. All right. You fought solid battles for so long. It's time to celebrate your strength loudly. Mm. I'll say it again. You fought solid battles for so long. It's time to celebrate your strength loudly. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yeah, nice. Celebrate so, loudly. Celebrate all of your strengths now. Yeah. Celebrate your luckiness. Now. Now. Especially since you've been so lucky. Yes. You dodged mm-hmm. death that many times? That's a lot of hits you took. You better celebrate Physically. like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Literally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Celebrate. Yeah. They've been talking down about you your whole life, and now you're successful. Yeah. Celebrate. Yeah. You S- deserve it. Keep wiggling that long torso of a body <laughs> on Google Street Maps <laughs> loudly. Loudly. Just loudly. Do that. Yeah. All of your battles always lead to something great, and you should celebrate. Mm-hmm. Celebrate all of the struggles. Don't be afraid of the struggle. That's part of it all, because at the end. We are all toasting. Yep. That's what Sakuna doing. All toast. Oh God. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna call the cops on you for that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Jennifer, I did not say hello to you. Wow. Jennifer has been there the entire time. I am so sorry. I have missed you too. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I don't know how much of that she believed me. Yeah. Damn. She said a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Thank yeah. you. And that was positive chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> keep, it a, keep it a positive. <laughs> Eddie, yell out before we head out to you. <laughs> yes. Um, happy birthday to my sister-in-law, Michelle. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Ya. Base voice could hit it Ooh, Happy birthday. Double up the baritones. Baritone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and also, um, happy Thanksgiving to all the folks out there. Um, yeah. Eat up. Be merry with your family. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. piggyback off that because that was my that was my yard too. Like, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving to the fam and yeah. all of the friends, and family, friends, acquaintances that we've met along the way. Yes. You know. Start start um, getting your your stretchy pants on. Oh yeah. Get to eating. Oh yeah. So you can. But then you know, pray for those on. that aren't as fortunate to be in that situation. And yes. Hopefully they can, uh, you know, just enjoy mm-hmm. the times as well. Yeah. Because I, mean, I celebrate all over the world, but mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, at least in America. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, be grateful for all of where you've gotten to in life, and just be thankful for that. Yeah. You know, celebrate. This is our chance. Celebrate loudly, right? This celebrate is it. Loudly on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yes, sir. There you go. Celebrate with as many as you can. Mm-hmm. There you go. Ah, <sighs> man, it's been great. I've missed you, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I miss this too, man. I miss man. you too, man. <laughs> oh, shout out to everybody that's been a uh, special guesting as well on the ah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. I've been we have some good guests. Job as usual. Dope guest. Oh, yeah. Dope episodes. Too. Hilarious keep guest. That, keep that going. Yes. It's glad to finally you know come back on the bike after a while. Yeah. But um, that was that guy known as GP, and uh, you know that was that guy right there known as AD. And listen, folks, if you realize by now, we are not unlucky in doing this. We're actually quite lucky to be doing this. Yes. And uh, we've been doing it for 130 episodes now, right? 130. Oh, yes. No <laughs> so, accidents. No, no no accidents yet. <laughs> not exactly. Almost. Not yet. Yeah. So uh, that is what we do. And now it's time for us to pay some dues and watch Jiu-Jitsu Gaizen again. Oh, God. Over and over again. Over again. So we will uh, catch you guys on the turkey farm afterwards. Flapping our arms around. Guess <laughs> 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 a coon in a slice them shit up real quick. Like, you know, right. You know, supplied half a nation with turkeys. Because <laughs> <laughs> the turkeys didn't bow at them. Like, they're tripping. Yeah. They're tripping. Tripping hard. <laughs> So we'll catch y'all on the flippity flop, man. Peace. <laughs> Deuces. Oh, my deep voice. <laughs>